Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. My name is Christina. Today's pick a card reading is um, your love messages. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you get this, one of these piles should resonate with you. To begin with, we have pile one. This is Appetite. We have pile number two with Blue Adventurine. This is a beautiful stone. Um, pile number three with Pink Opal. And pile number four with Iolite. So take a moment, take a deep breath, and uh, choose the pile that you're most drawn to, and we'll get started right away. Hi, pile one. This is um, with the Appetite. Get your, get your card started. Okay, let's start with the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, oh, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, there's money all over this already. Oh, the Lovers and Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. You, Pile One, have an amazing read. Wow. All right, well, <laughs> there's certainly a lot of money involved, that's for sure. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm picking up is gonna be two scenarios. Uh, one, you know, either you're the Knight of Pentacles or the Queen, or, and your person is the Queen of Swords or vice versa. So that would be like a soulmate connection. Or, you know, with the lovers, it could be soulmate connection or it can also mean a choice between two people. So maybe you have two people coming in for you and you have to make the choice um hmm. we'll see when we get more clarifiers but um if you have to make a choice i don't think it's going to be a, a hard one they're you can't go wrong they're both great people they're great you know the might the the knight of pentacles this person is grounded he's responsible he's got you know this work ethic that'll make him very successful so if he doesn't have money now he will have a lot of money and and the, you know the the ace of pentacles talks about a new beginning with money so you know maybe you guys are going to start a project together you know this could be or somebody's getting a new job new home you know, maybe your person coming in has money, so that means that it'll be new money to you. Either way, that's really nice. Okay, and then the Queen of Pentacles, well, she has it all. You know, she's capable, she earns a good income, she keeps her beautiful home, she takes care of her family, she's just the queen of it all, and she's like the friend you want to have because she's loyal and dependable and trustworthy and generous so with the lovers you know this could be like a soulmate connection or like i said it could be a choice between two but either way it doesn't matter because you got your ten of cups this is complete happiness this is total fulfill wish fulfillment here all all ten of your cups are filled with love this is, you know, home, family, love, just, you got it all. I, I, wow. <laughs> I wish I could pull a spread like this for me. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's do some romance angels. Let's see what we get. Let's see, let's see what kind of clarifiers we can get here. All right. We got past life relationship, soulmate, <laughs> and this could be the one, and 
let's get bottom deck attraction. Okay, so, well, I guess that answers my question here. It's soulmate connection. So I'm assuming either you're the Knight of Pentacles or you're the Queen of Pentacles, either one, and then your person's the, the opposite. I'm not, I need to get good with my camera angles here. Um, so yeah, so evidently you guys have past lives together. You're definitely soulmates. This could be the one. <laughs> I, I think with these cards, he's definitely, or she's definitely the one. And there's lots of attraction. So like, wow, like this is like a match made in heaven, literally with the lovers. <laughs> Wow, that's fantastic. All right, let's see. What deck am I going with next? Let's do some unicorns. Oh, wow. I'm like feeling all like, ooh, I'm in my feels with this one. I wish I pulled this for myself. Okay. We got water. All right, so with water, I'm thinking... We don't really know how valuable water is to our system. I think everybody needs to drink more water, but I think this is also saying self-care, self-love, take some time to take care of yourself. And maybe this will bring um, this connection in faster. Change, change. Yeah, I think that, you know, if this person's not in your life already, he's coming in and it's gonna be a lot of change, a lot of love, and believe in yourself. Okay, so with these cards, it's really making me feel like they're not here yet. You got to do some self-love. You have to take care of yourself. You have to believe in yourself for this to happen, but it's going to happen. Stay positive. And you'll manifest this with no problem, seems like. Okay. Let's see what we got here. What else do we got for this connection? The Kingfisher. And it says, be patient and focused. Kingfisher. And, oh, I can't see that. Bring it up. Kingfisher. I'm going to raise all these guys up. Maybe you can see them better. I'm going to learn to do a better job with this. Okay, Kingfisher. Be patient and focused. Okay, so that, that goes along with what I was talking about. Um, you know, do some self-love. Take some time for yourself. It's coming. Don't worry about it patient trust the universe and then you got the pig <gasps> maintain self-worth and self-esteem are you kidding me okay <laughs> so there you go <laughs> nothing more to be said about that all right let's get pile from one more deck just because i like to make the pyramid complete here and we got gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Right? Can you see that? Um, yeah, that goes along with what we're saying. You are perfect the way you are. You don't need anybody else to fix you. You have all the tools inside of you to do it. Just take a moment and believe and stay positive. And, you, and you'll manifest. It's, he'll come. Well, he's coming. <laughs> or she's coming. <laughs> I don't mean to get general, gender specific. Okay. Get a couple tea leaves just to finish this out. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got the ring. And the ring says... Oh, a marriage will take place either romantic or in business. 
Well, that could go with anything we're saying because you're going to get your ten of cups. So marriage looks like it's in the forecast. But you also got this ace of wands. I mean, ace of pentacles. I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, so it could be a new business venture with, with your soulmate. You guys could, you know, be starting a business. That'd be pretty cool. And you also got the arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So see, you're doing it. Keep it up. Keep up what you're doing. It's coming. Have faith. Um, everything's going to work out fine. And you're going to have an amazing life or at least an amazing relationship. So I think that's all I have for you today, uh, Pile One. Thank you so much for visiting this for visiting my site. I really, truly appreciate it. If you like the reading and you like my voice, eventually you'll see me on camera, but I gotta get used to how to work at first. But anyway, um, you know, give it a like, subscribe. I don't have many videos out there yet, but I'm working on them. All right, see you soon. Hi, Pile Two with the Blue Adventuring. Thank you and welcome. To my channel I'm so excited to have you here okay let's get started to your love messages let's see what we get for you okay we have the knight of cups the queen of pentacles The moon, four of wands, and knight of swords. Okay. Oh, God. I gotta learn how to do this better. I keep saying it. Okay. No, nope, you still can't see them. Wrong way. Well, I must have bumped the camera. Okay. Bear with me. They're still, they look crooked on camera. They don't look crooked to me. Wait. I need them up as much as possible anyway. There we go. All right. So, Knight of Cups. Now, that means that there's love coming in. Um, the Knight of Cups is someone you're definitely going to fall for. He and if he's mature, um, then all is good. But with the Knight of Cups, sometimes if it feels like it's too good to be true, sometimes it is. He's he's the one that's like in love with love. He wears his rose-colored glasses, you know. So you just gotta make sure that the Knight of Cups is gonna be there for you in the hard times as well. I'm not saying that he will. I'm just saying, you know, he's he's just so in love with love that you just got to make sure of that. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm kind of feeling like the, the Knight your person coming in and the Queen of Pentacles is you. Queen of Pentacles has it all. You know, she makes a good salary. She takes care of her home. She takes care of her family. She enjoys the material things in life because she's earned them, so it's okay. But she doesn't like to take risks. She won't take anything that she is like irrational risks, I should say. You know, just she likes to play it safe. She's loyal, she's reliable, she's practical. With the moon, with the moon card here, it means to me that you might be having, you might be unsure. You might be worried that there's something hidden about your Knight of Cups. You know, you, 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 the queen doesn't like to take risks, so you want to make sure about him, right? Or her, whoever it is. But you got your four of wands, which is celebration, right? Could even be marriage. So to me, it's saying, yeah, like it's a good match because you're going to be celebrating. But then you got the knight of swords. And the Knight of Swords, he races in. He wants to come in. He wants to sweep you off your feet. You know, he, he's, 
he's focused on his goal. Like he wants to make you his. And so if this moon card wasn't here, I'd be like, yes, go for it. You got, you know, you got the knight of swords and you got the knight of cups. Knight of cups. Wow, he really wants you. But this moon card's throwing me off a little bit because and and knowing the Queen of Pentacles don't like to make unnecessarily unnecessary risks risks. I can't speak today. You know, it worries me a little bit. A little bit. Let's just see. Let's pull, where are they? Let's pull the romance cards. Let's pull the romance angels. Let's see what we get. Maybe we can get some clarification on this knight coming in. I don't know. I tend to think that he's probably good. All right. Ah, we got, it's safe to love. So, yeah. So I don't think you have to worry about it. Stay up. <laughs> Stay optimistic <laughs> about your love life. Oh, I just dropped my cards. That's okay. I'll get them later. Stay optimistic. All right. Looks good. Oh, you got the retreat. Okay. So this necessarily doesn't mean anything. I think this just means with the Queen of Wands or Queen of Pentacles, just take a moment. Just collect yourself. Make sure this is what you want. But next is calling in your soulmate. So I don't think you have anything to worry about. I think that I think that he's your soulmate. So let's go for it. So far, so good. Right? All right let's get some unicorn cards. Okay, so we got light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. So, okay. Let's see what else we get. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. Hello and goodbye. And try something new. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. So, okay, I think this is saying, you know, because you're, you know, with the moon, we're a little worried here at first, but see the light. The sun always comes after the moon, right? The sun always rises. So see the light. It's going to be good. We're on goodbye. Yeah, I think that's saying he's going to come in fast, and maybe you guys need to retreat a little bit. Maybe you guys need to go off by yourselves to make sure that this is something you really want. So I'm okay with that. And then try something new. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. All right, so maybe you're going on an adventure. Maybe you don't, with this Queen of Pentacles, you, you stay close to home. So let's, uh, let's see what else we get. Let's get some animal spirit. So we get the horse, care for others and let them be free. Okay. And donkey, keep your heart open no matter what. Okay. Okay, so to me, I mean, you're the queen of pentacles, so you're gonna care for anybody anyway and you're gonna allow them to be who they wanna be. So that's just saying that's part of who you are. The donkey, keep your heart open so I think that it's saying you know don't because of the moon because of you know the retreat uh, keep keep an open mind about it I, I think it's everything will be fine and let's get you one more one more from the believe in yourself deck Oh, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Hmm. Well, that, that 
that's pretty much saying, you know, stand your ground. Don't let anybody walk all over you. Um, yeah. I think maybe there's some, I, this is what I'm getting the feeling. This is pure intuition. I'm getting the feeling that maybe somebody in your life is saying they're not right for you. Whoever this new person is, they might not be right for you. And that's why you need to take time. Because look, they're going all, they're, it's, they're retreating together. They're not retreat, you're not retreating by yourself. So maybe you need, you guys need to take the, t once he comes in, or her, once they, they come in, um, you guys need to take some time, figure it out, um, and not let everybody else get in your way. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you want. This is about you. This is your journey. No one else's. All right. Last two messages we will get is family, well, family wishes come true. So you're getting what you want and shield you need to defend yourself yeah I'm, with that I'm, I'm still getting that somebody is going to be talking you out of him they're going to say you know he's not he's a knight he's not a king he's not all there yet or she I keep saying he and I don't mean to do that uh, it's whoever it is um, but I think you need to stick to your guns. I don't think this is gonna. I don't think this is a bad relationship. I'm not getting bad, so I say go for it. Uh, you know, make the right choice. I always choose love. Hope you do too. That's all I got for you, pile two. I hope it was helpful, and I will see you next time. Hello, pile three with the pink opal awesome stone. Let's get started with your tarot cards. We got the king of pentacles, the queen, the queen of pentacles. Oh my, we got a power couple here. The chariot, <laughs> the fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. Holy crap. This is wow. Wow, wow, wow. We've got a power couple here and there's money all over this spread again. So it's a true, true power couple. Wow. Okay. The King of Pentacles. Feeling like this is your person coming in kind of been like what the last two piles were the first card's always the card coming in so I'm, I'm kind of feeling the same way with you I think that the king of Pentacles, pentacles is coming in so the king of pentacles he's he's a leader right he's ambitious he's generous he enjoys life uh, but he uses his wealth to enrich others as well he is definitely somebody you want in your life I feel like you are probably the Queen of Pentacles. It, roles can be reversed. It could be vice versa, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like this is you, Pile 3. Um, again, because she's come out in all three piles. I got some amazing viewers. <laughs> um, all right, so she's the one who she has it all, right? She has a good income, a beautiful home. She takes care of her family. She's loving. She's generous. She doesn't like to take risks, though. If she has a downside, that would be it. She don't like to take risks, but she's loyal and she's practical. Um, and then you got the chariot. So, like, yeah, this is fast-moving energy. This is, like, um, this is definitely a victory card. So, if you're going to, if you're asking if this is going to work out, I'm going to say 100%. 100%. It's a victory card. But 
with the with the chariot sometimes it's like victory through strength of will like you have to go through something to get it so it this is about you know this could be you know if you're not confident fake it till you make it kind of thing that's what this is kind of saying and 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 the only reason why i'm really bringing that up because normally i would just say this is a victory card but you got the fool here and the fool is about taking a leap of faith but knowing that you're on the right path so i think that maybe the queen is is you know questioning things a little bit or maybe she doesn't feel good enough for the king you know that's kind of more of what I'm feeling like she might not feel quite good enough um, but she is and look ace of pentacles new beginning in money so this power couple is definitely gonna be doing something um, you know where there's a new start and start with money like a new business or something definitely 100 percent sorry pile three i had to um take a phone call okay let's get you some love cards on this some romance angels and see if we can get a little more clarification on what we got here okay we got worth waiting for we got romantic feelings, new love, and separation. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling since you're in separation, um, that you're in separation now, that this person didn't come in yet. You're, the king didn't come in yet. But he, they're definitely worth waiting for. You're definitely good. I mean, come on, this is amazing. Um, so yeah, you're de it's definitely worth writing feeling. You're gonna have all kinds of romantic feelings. It's a new love. I don't think it's anybody from your past. I think it's new. And um, but like he's not here yet. That's what I'm feeling. You know, it could, it could be somebody from your past, and that you know you're gonna start again with new love. But I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling like he's not here yet. You're sep you're in separation now but he's worth waiting for or she I keep saying he because he's a king because a king but either gender you know we both take on we take on either either we both have masculine and feminine energies within us so it, please ignore my pronouns I don't mean to offend anybody okay let's get some unicorn cards let's see what else we can get this is an amazing read Believe in yourself. Wish upon a star and very soon. Okay, so yeah, this is the, I, I think that, you know, he, the king didn't come in yet, but he's coming really soon. He's worth the wait. You wished upon a star, the universe heard you. He's coming, but just believe. Just believe, be patient, but believe. Believe you deserve this king. You know, you are good enough. You are good enough. Ugh. Just get the feels. Okay, let's get some um, animals there. Where's my deck? Here we go. Get some animal spirits. Let's see what we get. All right, we've got the deer. Trust in the support of the universe. Yes, that's what I was just saying. Like you made the wish. They know what they they know what you want. Source knows. He's gonna send it to you. You've manifested this, and you deserve it, right? Now I'm starting to feel like you've been through a rough time. You you deserve this. You deserve this power couple. Hyena, dare to be different. Dare to be different. Hmm. Maybe, maybe your king's not your usual type. Maybe because you feel like he's above you, or you know, like you're not good enough, and so you 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 set your sights a little higher. 
dare to be different because you just, you might get your wish. I actually think you definitely are getting your wish. Get that Believe in Yourself cards. Garden. Something lovely will grow from this. Are you kidding me? Of course. How could it not? Right? Not only are you a power couple, but you're going to have something that's going to grow from this. You're going to have love. You're going to have money. You're going to have abundance all over the place. Absolutely. Let's see. Let's see. You can get that. I need to get better angles. I'm sorry. I'm just not that good with the camera yet. I'll figure it out, though. Okay. Let's get... <gasps> oh, I'm dropping cards. Get two more um, tea, tea leaf messages. And this one will be kind of short because... Uh, All right, you got purse, pay attention to your finances, and basket, recognition, reward for merit. So, hmm, pay attention to your finances. Well, <laughs> you both look like you have money, so I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe whatever this new venture is, don't splurge, don't go crazy, take normal risks all right just just keep an eye on it I, I look you got you got make a wish you got very soon you got new love you got everything's coming something something lovely is going to grow from this so I'm not worried about this but you know just be careful in the beginning recognition reward for merit so that means they see you the world sees you. The universe sees you. You're getting what you want. You're getting what you manifested because you deserve it. What a lovely, powerful reading. That, that's all I have for you, Group 3. Until next time. Hi, Pile 4 with the Eye Light. Thank you and welcome to my channel. Excited to be here with you, giving you this uh, love readings, love messages. Let's see what tarot's we have for you today. Okay, let's see. We've got Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, The Fool, King of Swords, and the Hermit. So, oh, let's, let's, uh, let me fix these out so you can see them better. I'm not good with the camera yet. Gotta get better at this. I'm getting there, though. All right, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is, you've, you've been working hard on something, right? You've been working hard on a situation so this is you taking a moment just to reflect upon that. You know, just to see, is this really what I want? And if it is, great. My hard work's gonna pay off. But, you know, it, it, is this maybe not the path I really wanna take anymore? Like, maybe this isn't worth it. I don't know. Let's see. Page of Cups. Well, the Page of Cups, he is just a doll. He is lo he loves, he laughs very easily. He's got a sense of wonder. Um, you're gonna feel an instant connection with this person. Um, he's really just a joy to be around, or she. Keep with the pronouns again, I, I apologize. Um, you know, they have an open heart, but you're like a little, immature they might benefit from your guidance a little bit you know in the seven of, seven of pentacles energy it's like you know what it's like to work hard this one is just like enjoying life but he's offering you a cup of love and it's fun 
and you're gonna you're like I said you're gonna feel an instant connection with this person so it's gonna be lovely the fool well you gotta decide do you want to take that leap uh, the fool is saying go for it you know take the leap of faith trust that you're on the right journey uh, you know maybe you are on the right path with this all right but you got a king of swords here now the king of swords he cuts through all the BS so this this is if this is you this is you, if this is you you're gonna see through this um, you're gonna see through this young immature image and you're gonna just like kind of want this person to be a little bit more but you, know, you have a fool saying go for it so maybe you know it's time for you to go inside and reflect and and see what you really want listen to your inner guidance listen to your inner self because you have all the keys inside of you you know you know what the right thing to do is you know you got you got two pauses here so I think you just might be unsure about this person but you got the fool and it's saying you know take the leap but again you got two immature two immature energies here so I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the romance angels say. We'll go from there. Okay. New love. Okay. New love. It's new love coming in. So your page is new. You, you, you're going to have romantic feelings for them. Oh, it's a past life relationship. But it's flirt. You got flirt. So maybe this person's coming in to teach you, my king of swords, to loosen up. Have fun. You know? Have fun. Flirt. Flirt. It's a past life relationship. So it's it feels like a karmic it feels like a karmic relationship. That he's coming in or she's coming in to teach you something teach you to have fun loosen up don't work so hard work smarter not harder right I like it I like it Let's see what see, see what the unicorns have to say practice practice hmm I'm getting the feeling that that means practice listening to your inner intuition. Maybe meditate. Practice meditating. Trust your gut more. You know, learn learn to hear your inner voice. And then maybe you wouldn't be so afraid of this. Maybe you wouldn't have to work so hard. Um, or, you know, maybe you wouldn't have to feel like you work so hard to get what you want. Maybe if you just start to, you know, meditate and listen you'll uh, be more more fun you'll flirt wish upon a star so yeah maybe you've been asking for someone like this maybe you don't know how to have fun you know maybe you've been you know too stoic all your life and and you're you're at you were asking for it so I, I, I think you're getting your wish. Happy thoughts, absolutely. Happy thoughts. That's just saying, you know, be positive and positive things will happen for you. I, well, I'm liking it, okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's go for the uh, animal spirits. Let's see what we get. Guinea pig, do your part to illuminate the universe. Okay. And dolphin, live joyfully in the present. Ah, okay. So this is telling me, let me see that. This is telling me that you might not know how to have fun. You know, 
live joyfully in the present. You know, don't work so hard. Lighten up. Have some adventure. Go for it, you know? Live in the moment. And I think your positivity will, will bring uh, positive to others. So that's what that card, I think, means. Okay. Let's see. Let's get... Uh, oops. Try to believe in yourself card. This one pop, why aren't these popping? Okay, got it. Dragons, slay them all. <laughs> so I think that just that's just saying conquer your fears. Conquer your fears where this is concerned. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna go broke, right? Obviously, you have a really good work ethic. The universe is not going to allow it. You know, get out of this energy. I mean, well, the king's honest and trustworthy. I mean, I don't think you should totally get out of it, but, like, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Stop being fearful. Take the adventures. Go for it. Have some fun. Loosen up. That's what this is saying. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, and let's get some tea leaves. Boy, do I have to work on my cameras, my camera work. It isn't terrible. Okay, that was fast. Thank goodness. We got the tortoise, slow but surely getting ahead. Okay, so your hard work's paying off. You're making progress, you're moving forward. The bull, plenty of material things. What did I say? You don't have to worry about it. You can have fun because you're going to have plenty of material things. That's all I got for you, Pile 4. I hope to see you next time. Love and light.